it's it Seb back with another Seb the Dev uh, game maker tutorial video so today we are going to be just making the second sort of series in our networking sort of series um, now we're actually going to be making a playable game where we can continue off from the current code that we did have and we are going to create it so it will be an actual playable game and now this is also my first video with the new paid game maker desktop version so we can just put this on the windows one and yeah so let's just right get straight into it start nice <laughs> so the first sprite we're going to create is spr player this is just going to be our player as we have the player to move around the screen um we're going to make this 32 by 32 so we're just going to change the size here scale image just type 32 and 1 and it's done press enter and now we've got our 32 by 32 image. So now we're just going to edit image, and for now we're just going to fill it with white. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, that's just to save time. So we're going to make the origin middle center. Right. So now we've done that. Um, what we're just going to work down now, though, to just make it easier. So in the script, we're going to have to change, add a new statement around here. So this is just you'll see what this is later on so the player socket because what we're going to do is we're going to connect it so the player socket is there so if the player's other player socket because it's pretty you can't have 999 people that's just so we know that there is nobody connected so what this does is pretty much says if nobody's connected then send out the server data right so now we've done that we're going to create a new object and we're going to call this obj player we're going to set the sprite of this object to be the sprite we just created that loads. and that's all we need to do for here as most of ours is going to be done in the uh, other objects so now in the server name we're going to say if in the step event what we need to do is if after this one is done we need to add a couple more things so here we just got the connection set up, but we're actually going to make it OBJ lobby because we're going to have to de um, destroy this instance so it doesn't show up in the game. Now we're going to go OBJ lobby dot connected equals true. This is just setting a variable that if it is connected. And now we're just going to say with OBJ server name. So this gets with all of the server name objects instance destroy so that's pretty much all we have to do for this obj server name object so now we're just going to head into the object lobby and in the create event we just got to add a few more uh, variables so now we're going to add created players equals false the player socket so this is pretty much just the one setting it to um, 999 as the beginning, so we know nobody's joined. And connected equals false. So now we can head into the step, and we've got quite a oops, <laughs> we got quite a lot to add in here. So first we're going to add if the task equals join, just like four if it equals join and it is connected and the players have not been created so of course the exclamation mark before that just means the variable is not true or it equals false so now local so this is pretty much just saying if it is just connected to a server and it hasn't created anything so local player equals instance create layer 32 by 30, 32 32 that's just the coordinate to start it at instances obj player now you can set this x and y to be whatever you want it's just you have to set the global and the local player to both be the same um otherwise you'd have to do all this network more networking stuff which we may do in the future if you want to see that just leave a comment so we're pretty much just doing the exact same thing here so obj player so now we've done that we just need to say that we have created the players, so created players equals true. 
So now what we're just going to do is some basic uh, movement. But now first, just so we do not send, have to send a packet every step, and so we do not have to type things in a lot. We're just going to go if keyboard check vk any key. So this is just checking if any key on the keyboard has been pressed. So in here, I'm just going to go if keyboard check board w local player dot y minus equals five. So now we can just copy and paste this one three more times. So we have a total of four. Um, so now we're going to change this one to s. We're going to make it plus this one to a. Change that to x. We're going to change this one to d. Change this one to x and make it plus. So now we've done this movement stuff. We just need to write it to the buffer and send it. So buffer c buffer buffer seek start just like normal and the offset is zero buffer write buffer buffer u eight and two as our ID for the connection received. Um, now I'm gonna write buffer write buffer buffer it u16 and now we're going to write the x coordinate of the player now buffer right buffer buffer u16 pretty much the same thing just instead of the x we're going to write the y local player dot y so now what we're going to do is we're going to set we have to send it but it's going to be different for server and and client obviously so if task equals join Send oh, network packet send packet. I cannot type this way again. TCP socket because we are sending it to us the TCP server. Buffer buffer tell buffer. So now if task equals host. Pretty much the same thing, just a different socket. So, network send packet player socket. So this is sending it to the player socket. Buffer buffer tell buffer. So now we finished in this piece of code here. We just need to head to the asynchronous networking. So now in here, after the oh, scroll down a bit. After the case one, we are going to say break, and now case two. So global player dot x equals buffer read async load buffer just to receive the buffer and then buffer u16 and now we're going to the same thing for the y which we'll copy and paste it this time so we just change that to y so now that we have done that in the host part oh, remember the break in the host one just before the if network type if type is network type data we can go if type equals net work type connect then player socket equals async load socket so that's just assigning that variable we do use that a lot local player so this is just the exact same as what we did before um, so we can just copy and paste we, we don't need the creative players one for this one because this will only run when someone is connected. So we've done that now. We've just got to add in the. Oh, this is too big. So it's going to add in a case. A case two now, just because that is what we have to do. So case two. Oh, 
pretty much the same thing as before. Google code dot x equals buffer read rec buffer buffer u sixteen global player dot y equals buffer read receive buffer and buffer u sixteen. Right, so that should be done by now. Let's uh, let's test it. We should have finished it, and hopefully it will work. So let's get a some free advertising in, of course. We will launch the other one. Join. All right, so we joined it. Let's see if it works. That one works here. So you can see I'm moving on the screen, and it is updating here. And let's just test this one. And this one works. So, guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe. I will hopefully be uploading a bit more frequently than I have been. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.